Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. Today I have a tip for my 365 Ninja followers who use Google Chrome as their web browser. Now I use Chrome a lot and I also use OneNote. So Chrome has this really cool extension that you can use with OneNote and I wanted to introduce it to you. It's called the OneNote Clipper. So in order to find this, you can use whatever search engine you like to search for the Chrome Web Store or you can go to the URL that you see on my screen here. Once you're in the store, search OneNote. Now scroll down to the extension section and you'll see the OneNote Clipper. And you can see here it says the easiest way to save anything on the web to OneNote in just one click. So we'll click Add to Chrome. Confirm that we want to add it. Now you can see that really quickly the OneNote Clipper was added and we've got that little OneNote icon here next to my URL bar. Now let's click Try It Now and you can get an idea of how it works. First I'll sign in with my Office 365 account. Now you can see I have the option to either clip a full page, a region, or an article. I can select my location so if I have other notes stored on Office 365, as you can see I do, I will select one of those to add my clip to. And I can also add a note to that clip. So let's just go with a full page. We'll add a note and click clip. I get a notification that my clip was successful and I'll click view in OneNote so we can see what it looks like. Now, because I am using Chrome, it is going to open up the web version of OneNote. And if you don't want to use the web version, to be honest, I much prefer to use OneNote 2013. You can certainly just go manually open up your OneNote. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It's clipped the entire page. Now let's do one more quick test. I've opened up a 365 Ninja article here and we're going to test how the clipper saves this article to a OneNote page. We'll keep the full page, keep the default location. Let's just keep it simple and click clip. Now let's view it in OneNote. And here's our article. Now this is really cool because if you're taking a screenshot, it can be tricky or impossible to get a long web page like this in a screenshot. So I hope this tip is helpful for others like me who are using Google Chrome and Microsoft products like OneNote. If you liked this tip, please check back with 365ninja.com for more.